player two has entered the game. Cool. How about we build a fence and uh, they're upgradable, right? They are. All right, so maybe do some basically upgrades. attach stuff to the front of them, like um, metal or wood, like just reinforcement sort of thing. All right. I'm going to keep chopping this wood, but uh, you can handle the fence, I think. Appreciate it. Let's start with the gate. How about that? Sure. I think right there is good. Now let's go ahead and... All right, so I'm seeing platform barricade uh, and then ramp barricade. What's the what's the difference between the the three of those? So the ramp barricades, they're like um, they're all platforms, but the ramp ones basically just lead up to the platform, and the platform is just a, a static thing that you can uh, get up on and, and look over the fence with. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. Okay. So I do want to let everyone know the uh, the menu you see for crafting there, the radio menu, that's definitely changing. I'm hoping for the next update, but we'll see what happens. Just because it's kind of hard to navigate once you get a lot of structures in there and we plan on adding a lot more. Right on. Is some of that stuff going to be starting to add during the alpha? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I think maybe even the next update. Really? Potentially. I just got claim saving in uh, today, actually. So. Oh, well, you heard it here first, guys. So claim saving is now in. So I sort of basically, if, if they hop in game right now and they build a base, they're able to save everything. everything. No, nah, no, nah, for the next patch. Oh, next patch, next patch. Okay. Just making soon, sure. No, Good thing soon. I clarified. Absolutely. All right, cool, cool. So that'll be coming, guys. All right, so you can start upgrade. Okay, so you have the option of planks or sheet metal, so I guess the sheet metal is probably stronger. Sure. Okay. Oh, I got wood here. Oh, I think you have to upgrade it one more time. Yeah. Oh, so the sheet metal goes up top. Okay. Okay, I need a little bit more wood. Oh, you made them into planks for me? How sweet. Okay. Oh, we got the scrap metal. All right. I like it. <laughs> Can you imagine lining your whole base with that thing? Nobody's getting in there. Pretty impressive. Yeah. And so it d does like the, uh, does it have like hit points? It does. Uh, not right now. Sure. But eventually they're going to start banging on your walls. <laughs> Who can we expect Who to be banging expect? on our walls? I mean, I guess other than other players. Exactly. Oh yeah. Upgrade all the way. Nice. All right. So I'm not going to build an entire fence around the whole base. I don't think that that's going to be a productive use of our time, especially after the beginning <laughs> of the stream. So uh, uh, I guess what, what could we do next? I mean, I guess we got some, uh, we already did some little bit of house hunting, found our house, which that part was cut out at the beginning of the stream, at least the audio for it was. Uh, we got the materials we need to build. We upgraded some items. Oh, uh, we can plant stuff too, right? Uh, gardening is currently in. Should work fine, I think. Hopefully. Cool. 
Um, well, if we're going to be planting something, it's got to be on the southern facing side. I don't want to get, you know, get enough sun for it, right? Let me grab my compass. Awesome. Following you. South, east, east would be uh, this way towards the uh, the yellow truck. Oh, and no, it's Mr. Friendly, uh, there's not a door for the gate yet. That's true, yeah. It'll come in due time. Yes, yes. Uh-oh. Here, I think we'll get enough sun over here. Ooh, survival tab. So survival is mostly uh, water barrels and that sort of thing, um, resource gatherers, tools like that. And then there's a separate tab for uh, gardening because we're going to do a lot with that. Okay. So is there a difference between the insulated water barrel and the water barrel that I first that I just saw? There will be once we get temperature in. So once you know you actually start to get cold from the winter and all that, uh, insulated water barrels are not going to freeze. But if it is winter and you have an uninsulated one, then they uh, they could break. Right now, though, it's only capacity. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, I'm getting a lot of comments about the motion blur. <laughs> let, me, let me take that off real quick. <laughs> You'd be looking for advanced settings and then motion blur, I think, there. Better? No motion blur? Chad asks, oh. are we going to add a watchtower? And the answer is yeah. Down the line, of course. I mean, you got to think realistically of what one person can build, but yeah, for sure. Uh, so, so to get to get the uh, plants in there, it says we got to get some seeds. So, uh, anywhere we're able to do sure. that around here? Yeah, um, you'd want to forage some bushes. Typically, they have seeds and, and leaves and all sorts of things that you can use. Um, they're typically found just in forests. And I think I saw, yeah, there's one I'm standing in right now. That is a massive log you're holding in your hand. <sighs> I'm a strong guy. Yeah. All right, so we forage. Okay, so we got some carrot seeds, tomato seeds. Okay. Well, I don't want leaves. All right, let's go. All right, so we can plant. Oh, cool. So it pulls up a little wheel for that as well, I guess, for the different seeds that you, you're currently carrying on your uh, inventory. Absolutely. Nice. Placeholders for now, as you can see, I mean, they're like viruses, I think, or like we might have used this for like saying you have a cold or something, but fine for now, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so you can plant three and then it has you tend. Yeah. So you'd want to add water to that. Um, or you could just, you know, hope for a rainy day. Oh, so the actual uh, rain that you guys have in the game will, will water them for you, and it actually takes that into account? That's right, yeah. Awesome. I can actually make it rain right now. Yeah. There we go. And you should see it start uh, going up. Oh, yeah. So I we, those water barrels, um, could I put one of those out and it actually collect the rainwater? Absolutely. Oh, sick. Well, let's do that. Uh, I need some planks and duct tape. I've got some. <laughs> There's so many logs over there. I'm just going to drop it by the logs. Right on. Oh, wait, right here. There you go. I think I actually need one more duct tape. One more? Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, 
There you go. Oh, here's a big question I'm not seeing in chat. Since uh, we're over here planting, and we are in Alberta, so we're in Canada, are you able to plant the devil's lettuce? <laughs> we get asked that question every day, <laughs> and the answer is yeah. <laughs> you get asked it that much? Yep, every day. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're definitely supporting that at some point. That's awesome. It is legal. Awesome. Can't do anything like that down here, not in North Carolina. Oh, <laughs> my bad. It was three duct tape, so I need one more duct tape. Then we'll be good. There you go. They're, with some of the <laughs> they're all asking, can we smoke it? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, we're going to put marijuana in the game and not let you smoke it. Yes, yeah, the answer is yes, you can. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. So you can check it. it says point two. Oh, so it's already starting to fill up. Wow. Yeah, during rain, it'll definitely collect a lot. It does evaporate over time when it's not raining, so you have to be wary of that, but it is really, really slow. Huh. And you can go through different options, I guess. It says disassemble, check, fill bottle. Oh, sick, okay. Oh, and you guys even have the insulation animation on them already. Nice. You know what? Will there be different like weight rain patterns like heavy rain, medium rain, sprinkle? Oh yeah, the whole thing. It's it's completely dynamic. I so the way the wind is, you know, where the, the clouds are, how strong the humidity is, everything. It's all linear. Sweet. So if you want it, I can make it really go. Yeah, yeah, I wanna see it heavy. Oh yeah. That's eerie. And then I think I have, yeah, I got an empty water bottle, so I should be able to fill this up then. And I'm guessing a lot of inspiration for these kind of things in the game came from uh, PZ, Project Zomboid. Yes, yeah. <laughs> We're all, like, I think everyone on the dev team is a big fan of it. Just because they did everything so intricately, right? Like, I mean, like, being able to interact with everything, break everything, use everything, we, we really like that. I think it needs to fill up a little bit more before I can put some water in it. Oh, I gotta eat. Sorry, you gave me some croissants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knock those out real quick. Bone Thug says definitely gonna be RP friendly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a big whiff of that playing this game. Here's some tomato soup. There it goes. Now it filled up. Let's drink that water. And it's gone just like that. All right. So we got the plant. Ooh, you want to look at some containers, maybe build some stuff inside? That sounds like a plan. Right on. I think we have more than enough wood right now too. Yeah, you've been you've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can pick up. Yep. Oh, some soup. Make them good. I think this is as good as house as any though for a for a claim. Do you have like a favorite claim spot or, or building of your own? Uh, there's this one farmhouse in Morley actually. Um, it's got a farm and a barn, and I really like using it just because it's really big and remote. 
Yeah, and the bar, I mean, technically, you could probably park your uh, car in the barn or something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hmm, which room do I want to put my gun case in? I guess that's what I'm going to build next. Not in the kitchen. What room looks like it would have a gun case in it, chat? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe down in the basement? That seems like it'd be safer, right? Sure. There's an office in here. Oh, There's where? a lights room. Or downstairs. Uh, oh, we got a pool table. Okay. Water heater, of course. Oh, nice. Just in case you need to get a little pump in. Okay. That's how I carry my big logs. <laughs> oh, yeah, this looks like a gun. Yeah, this is where I'm putting it in the laundry room for sure. Okay. Hmm. Containers. Oh, yeah. Do you know how many guns can fit in this gun case? I think probably one or two. It depends on like if they're rifles or just pistols or whatever. That yeah, that's fair. Some will open lock. This container isn't locked. Attached lock. Oh, I think I need a padlock. Right behind you. Bam. Bam. I dropped it. Yep, I got it. All right, put that lock on there. So is this is this going to be an item that can actually be lock picked by other players? Yep. Yeah, when you lock it, you'll uh, other players will be able to pick it. But we're working on ways of like preventing just like abuse of that. Because I know like when you put a lock on something and you have it in a claimed house and everything, it's sort of meant to be a persistent storage type thing for you, like a, a base for you to to work from. So we we don't want people to you know just open it like with one lock pick you know what i mean we might think of some other different types of locking mechanisms so maybe not a padlock but you might be able to lock it with like a keypad lock or a uh, a deadbolt or something you know yeah that makes sense because i mean you're gonna have some that's probably gonna be your most valuable items in there yeah exactly but i mean if you protect your base properly with you know i, I know that you guys had posted in uh, a previous blog that uh electric fences were things so, i mean if you have things like that not a lot of people are going to be able to be trying to get to the hopefully get to the weapon box for sure i mean it just needs play testing right yeah and uh doors we can put stuff on the doors too i think right yeah you can uh, block off doors you can barricade them chain them up i think that's what we're going to need to be doing all right. Doors. We do a wood bar, metal bar, chain. Let's do the metal bar. So it does di each different barricade, so the, the door obviously has hit points as well, or it's going to have hit points as well, right? Yep. And uh, does this just add extra hit points whenever you put the metal bar on? More or less, the way they work right now is that they absorb um, damage, right? So if you damage the door, if, if I'm a zombie and I'm pounding at the door, instead of damaging the door, it's actually going to damage the bar for now. Oh. And once the bar is out of health and that gets destroyed, then we go back to using the door's health. Oh, sort okay. Of. I mean, like it's a little more complicated than that, but that's the gist of it. Sure. Yeah, that, in layman's terms. That makes. I mean, that's that sounds pretty simple to me, and it makes sense because you would want the the bar to be broken before the door, so the door isn't just not there and it's just a bar. So that makes <laughs> yeah, sense. Exactly. Yeah. So if they break through the door, does that mean that that home or base does not have a door, and you have to like build another door? That would be the idea. That you makes basically sense. Build a door in, in its place, and then that should be fine. All right. Let's see. Actually, I kind of want to see what the chain looks like. I wanted to do that, too. So we'll disassemble sure. that. Ooh, I just saw traps. Yeah, we're going to do that, too. 
Ooh, I'm gonna need a padlock. If you can snag me one of those. There you go. All right. I see in the chat security cams. I would love to do security cams, man. That'd be sweet. Like either motion activated or like literally you look through them. Well, even not even getting up to the level of like security cams, but uh, something like spotlights. Is that a possibility too? Yes, for sure. Awesome. Yeah, definitely would like to see spotlights or even like almost like a fallout esque uh, like shotgun trap. You know, where you like set like some yeah, tripwire. Yeah. Things like tripwire traps would be cool. For sure. So you can deactivate that too. Okay. All right. So, oh, cool. And then, I mean, so like I, like I was talking about earlier in the stream, so it's not just going to be players that are going to be attacking your base, right? There's also some sort of like NPCs or raiders. Yep, 100%. We're going to have um, NPC humans at some point that are not, you know, traitors. Um, and those guys will definitely be roaming around the world and, you know, hurting you, trying to get your stuff. <laughs> trying to lockpick your prized gun case. Oh, it says block window. Oh, yeah, I have newspapers, right? You should, yeah. Okay, okay. Obviously, got to block some of these windows. They can't see in here. Nice. And then I guess later on, you guys are going to be upgrading like window barricades and doing, being able to do different stuff with that too, right? For sure. We're going to have, uh, you know, like planks for similar to the doors. You're going to be able to reinforce windows so that nobody can actually like break in through there. Very cool. As long as you're otherwise. Okay. What else we got? Traps. Barbed wire. And I have barbed wire. Nice. So is the barbed wire something that's supposed to just damage enemies? Is like, is it something you're going to have to be careful when you're walking back into your base with or? We're not actually sure yet. Because it could be either way, right? Like, if it damages you and it gets really annoying, then probably not. Right. But the goal with it is just to sort of, like, slow zombies down and players down and, and give them a little bit of damage while you try and figure out where they are and deal with them. Fair enough. But, yeah, we, we were kind of in the middle of uh, fixing the audio issues um, earlier when I was looking at you chopping down that tree. Could you? Would you mind chopping down another tree? That looked great. Sure. And you were telling me that this is something that was just added, or at least the it was just uh, updated. Well, it's updated for the next patch, but in this version, it's still a little bit laggy. Oh, okay, uh, gotcha. The Gunslinger's done a great job with the new version. I'll stand in the bushes. Oh, I like how it kind of rumbles a little bit, the ground, when, when it falls. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, like I said, really laggy, but we'll get there, you know. Yeah, still, it's it's a really cool concept rather than just, you know, the tree just immediately being down or um, some of the other animations that I've seen in survival games. Yeah, or just no animation where you just get the wood. And this is something that at least, depending on the server owner or whoever's in charge, um, that once that tree's chopped down, that tree is on that server, at least if they unless they wipe it, is always chopped down. Um, we're not sure about that right now, yes, but we might make them respawn in the future. It really depends on how, like, you know, when the players actually do start um, going nuts with buildings. I mean, I think that the fences take up four wood each, so that's like two pieces of logs. Sure. So it could get sure. pretty costly with that, and we're not sure because um, they can be destroyed, right? Like, when you tear down a, a fence, you don't get all of the ingredients back. Like, we accommodate for saying, like, I don't know, like, you accidentally destroyed, like, a piece of a two by four or something, and, and you can't use it anymore. So mm. they are going to go down over time, and there wouldn't be a way to replace it. So I don't know. We'll see. Fair enough. 
Um, on the flip side, um, you know, there are, there are still lots of like um, trees, right? It is Alberta. Yeah. There's tons and tons of them. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think they'll be fine with the amount of trees. Um, I got a guy in here asking if we, <laughs> if you're standing under a tree when it falls, does it hurt the player? It doesn't. No. Okay. Good. <laughs> That would be the absolute. Can you imagine you're you're like playing um, you're playing a really peaceful game. You want to just like build your own house, the cabin in the woods, and you cut it down, and then you just die. Yeah, and that's it. Game over. <laughs> Crushed by a tree. <laughs> I mean, on, I mean it would be funny. On, on the other hand, the is that hurt. not a very Alberta way to die? That is, yeah, extremely so. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I guess, I mean, for the most part, that's that's everything I really wanted to look at is like all the different um, building options we were going to have and what's kind of planned for the future and what direction we're headed in with it. Um, I mean, is there is there anything, I guess, that'll be that you're super excited about potentially adding down the road? Rating. Yeah. Yeah. Like eventually we do want they're not like perfect safe houses and we want you to be able to like break down the front door if you need to and take what's inside. I mean, I'm not usually a big PvP guy, but like with stuff like this, I think it's going to be a very intricate and very, um, you know, easy to use, difficult to master type of thing. Right. Yeah, it seems with all the features that you guys have, you know, are planning to add with it, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, something that's going to be very tactical. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I like that. And then you could probably, you could just have uh these ramps maybe on like the far sides or the corners of the base and then just have a platform going all the way across um the rim of the fence that way you can like yeah, kind of exactly. watch your perimeter and everything like that yeah it really hurts. that's nice um i mean pretty much that's really all all i had in mind to show everybody is just looking at the base claiming system and all that you've done with it because i think most of us can agree that this is one of uh this is one of my favorite parts of dead matter and i'm really excited to see where it's going to go and what you're going to do with it and uh sure. from the looks of it it sounds like it's got some uh big plans coming down the line and uh yeah absolutely so i mean i guess that's uh that's going to be it I w my plan originally for anybody watching right now was going to be to stream uh go into another game and actually start my channel and, and you know do my face reveal and get all the overlays and everything going but to do this to get the actual audio working i had to switch over to my gaming pc um i actually have a streaming pc as well it works on my gaming pc but not on the streaming so uh that's gonna have to wait so i may I may hop on tomorrow to actually do my first actual stream as me um but other than that um unless anybody has any other decent questions to ask in the chat um we'll, we'll be we'll be getting out of here let's see will you be able to make a vehicle into a mobile base sure why not it would probably be more on the line of like rvs and that sort of thing but um yeah i don't see why not oh yeah like campers and, and stuff like that you should be able to make into you know it'll have like drawers and places to you know put benches and things like yeah. that well, it's been a highly requested feature since day one, like just having a mobile base that you can drive around and fortify and everything. Yes, uh, Stony Dave, you are able to use this footage. How long does nighttime last? Um, not super relevant to the stream, but yeah, it lasts the exact same amount of time as day. Building boats, um, is that something that could potentially, I mean, I don't know about building oh, them, but you could find them, right? I would love that. I would love to build boats. I think I like I'm personally doing that off the clock. <laughs> yeah, boats are something I always thought would be really cool to see um, in any survival game, along with the RVs and mobile base, because I think it'd be fun to kind of be a bit of a nomad either way. Absolutely. Can you rig a house or something with bait and explosives and motion detect or detonate when a player or entity enters? Potentially. I don't think it, we'd ever get like building destruction, like wall destruction and like like total devastation in because it is really expensive to render. But I would like to see it um, some kind of like traps like that, like explosive traps for sure. He says, can we see some snowfall? I know that's probably not in yet. So, I mean, do you guys have oh, an it idea? Is it is in. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, we got all the seasons in. 
And we're doing an art pass on them soonish because they're still kind of like, you know, confetti. Sure, yeah. And we want it to actually sure. look like snow. So um, we are doing an art pass on that in the next couple of weeks, I think. That's awesome to hear. I know that uh, in one of the last blogs you guys did before the game launched, uh, you guys were talking about actual snow accumulation on the ground and, you know, player footprints and stuff like that coming at some point. Yeah, like we, we had that demo that I remember in one of the vlogs where we actually had snow cover on the ground and it had to be taken out just because we couldn't get it to work perfectly for closed off a launch. Sure. But we're definitely going to be adding that back in soon. So the answer, Bic for Junior, yes, it will cover the ground. That's the, that's the goal. Ghost or Ghosty is saying, uh, will there be hail that can damage stuff? Will there be hail? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Just because whenever when you do weather like this, it's one thing to have like stat effects, like it makes you cold or it makes you wet, but it's another thing entirely to like destroy the world, like you know, break cars and that sort of thing. We could do it, and uh, we'll investigate if that's like something that is fun to do. But the answer is probably no for now. Sure. And I mean, with the already diverse weather system, I mean, it, it may be unnecessary, but I, I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, we're, like, it really depends on, like, what makes the game more fun. And we're not adding something that serves no purpose other than to, I guess, just make it annoying. Hail could definitely be something that's really fun, but we'd have to test it out, you know, and see if that's, uh, if it's all good. But yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't want to keep you on here for too long answering all these questions all night so uh sure. i think you've done pretty well at giving us a good explanation of uh base claiming and dead matter's current state um it, in my opinion um it is one of the more polished parts of the game so that's why i really wanted to show that off to everybody here and we got a little bit of information on some new stuff that's happening and uh we also get to see snow which was pretty cool i had no idea that was already in the game so oh yeah good so, to see that seasons man like if you wait long enough on the game then you would see snow eventually but it would take you like i don't know two months so is that is that kind of like the cycle is around like two months is a year yep fair enough, fair enough. i think the exact number is like 5.5 .5 times so it's more like two two months and a couple of weeks okay we're right on um but yeah I'm, I'm gonna let you get out of here and you know get to working because i know i always see you on discord working so <laughs> i know that's what you're gonna be doing um but yeah Ed, other than that everybody have a good one i'll let you guys know and keep you informed when i'm gonna be doing my next live um like i said i, I was planning on doing it tonight but looking like i'm gonna have to do some major troubleshooting so I'll, I'll try to be up by tomorrow to actually show you guys some cool stuff but that's it we're out